So I'm going to look at making a short video looking at the transportation model in Excel. So on Blackboard under course materials or materials, week five, the Excel sheet that I'm going to be using is called Excel file for example of transportation model. And when you open it up, it'll look like this. It'll have uh, two worksheets, a start worksheet and a finished worksheet. This is where we, the finished is where we hope to end up. The start is um, where we are, where I'm going to start from right now. So I have in shaded in blue, those are going to be my decision variables. Shaded in blue here is going to be the objective function result. Uh, down here we have the cost coefficients, the cost of sending a, a single unit from from a uh, plant to a destination or a warehouse. So from D to A is five bucks, D to B is four bucks, D to C is three bucks. Uh, D has a capacity of 100, E has a capacity of 300, F has a capacity of 300, A wants 300, B wants 200, C wants 200. That's how you read this little table that we have here. So after this is set up, we need to, before we can add the constraints, we have to put in a left-hand side. A left-hand side for the constraint and solver always has to be some type of formula. So for our formula, for, we're, we're going to look at the um, the capacity to make sure that we don't exceed capacity. I'm going to sum over each row. All right. So the first one is saying sum D, B3 through D3, and I'm going to say this has to be less than or equal to our capacity down here of 100. Then we have sum uh, over row E, those three cells, and ditto for Fort Lauderdale F. And again, that's going to be that Fort Lauderdale is going to be less than or equal to 300. Right. We need to do something similar for the demand. We want to make sure that we at least meet demand. We know we can do this because we have uh, the capacity and demand are equal. So for that we're going to do greater than or equal to constraints and we'll do the sum over the column like so and the sum over B, the column B and then the sum over column C, those three cells and now we're ready to go into the solver dialog box and set it up. So we go to data up at the top on the ribbon to solver the objective function is F3 in the worksheet that I have. Uh, we're minimizing, so min is checked off there, by changing these cells in blue, which is B3 through D5. Subject to some constraints, I need to add constraints, so again, these le these right here, the, the sum of the rows are going to be less than or equal to what our actual capacity is, so less than or equal to 100, 300, 300. They're contiguous so I can put them all in at the same time which is nice. Click OK. I'm going to add again I um, want to make sure that demand is met so it's going to be the column summations this time and because I want to make sure demand is met it's going to be greater than or equal to and it's going to be the 300, 200, 200. Click OK. Click OK make sure that unconstrained variables are not negative and make sure I'm using simplex LP and then click solve and then click keep the solution solver values and click OK and we see that the optimal solution is $3,900 we're shipping 100 units from D to A we're shipping A also gets 200 units from F Boston gets 200 units from Evansville and then Cleveland gets 100 units from Evansville and 100 units from Fort Lauderdale. And that's how you would do it in Excel.